Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, are remotely controlled robots used for all types of underwater work. To work undersea, the ROVs must be designed to withstand the pressures of the deep ocean and exposure to salt water. This means they are built using stainless steel frames and components, none of which are light. The typical ROV weighs as much as a car when sitting on the deck of a ship. However, special foam filled with glass beads sits on top of the ROV. In water, this is designed to make the ROV buoyant, so this heavy metal robot actually floats at the surface. Getting an ROV safely into the water is a tricky thing, requiring a host of equipment on a large ocean-going ship. Once in the water, the ROV will swim gracefully at the ocean surface or its deepest depths. To perform this ballet properly, many different technologies are employed both on the ROV and its support ship. Many ROVs have robotic arms made out of exotic metals. These arms include robotic wrists and hands that allow grabbing and collecting operations by the pilot. The electronics on an ROV are connected through a spider web of cables, most filled with oil, to displace any air because air will collapse, causing cables to rupture under the extreme pressures of the ocean depths. Thrusters, the propellers of the ROV, are mounted within this spider web and provide propulsion for the ROV. They are used to move the vehicle around and also to resist the currents in the ocean, which can be sizable. ROVs carry video cameras used for pilot navigation and exploration. Cameras require lights that are extremely bright to see in the dark depths. These high-tech components are complemented by the heavy-tech gear required to launch the heavy ROV. A miniature construction site, including cranes and large winches, is built on the ship to perform these launch and recovery functions. Winches and pulleys guide the miles of steel-reinforced fiber optic cable needed to control the ROV. Once safely in the deep, the pilot can begin real exploration. The pilot uses sonar and video information sent from the ROV to locate submerged items. Once in place, the pilot will employ the robotic arms to attach cable or clamps for lifting objects to be recovered. Scientific experiments can be left on the ocean bottom for later recovery, or samples of the seabed can be collected and returned to the surface for analysis. The work can be long and tedious, but ROVs are tireless and can be employed 24 hours a day. ROVs take us to places we can't easily visit ourselves and allow us to see things hidden within the depths of the oceans. These ocean images remind us that we are only visitors to the deep.